Howdy y'all, Lance from Permanent Records back with another video. This one doesn't have a particular theme aside from it has a whole lot of records being shown that we recently acquired and that are going out in the shop for sale soon. Um, I literally just have a crate of random records that have just been priced here that I'm just gonna pull out of uh, ad hoc and just I'll talk about them, tell you all about what we got going on. So we recently bought a pretty amazing collection, about 1,200 records. I'll do another video about that particular collection and what it was like to buy it and uh, the person I got it from, etc. But anyway, I just wanted to show off some of the uh, heavier hitter records in this collection and some things that we got elsewhere but uh, before I got into that. So here we go, without further ado, we got an original pressing of the Jake Holmes, the above ground sound of Jake Holmes album. Uh, this is a great psychedelic folk record and it is notorious uh, because it, it contains the song um, Dazed and Confused that Led Zeppelin definitely ripped off for their track with the same title. Uh, I highly recommend checking this out for fans of the aforementioned genre of psychedelic folk, um, but I also um, recommend it for fans of good songwriting and singer-songwriters and Zeppelin fans because of that dazed and confused um, yeah, story I mentioned earlier. This is the Mystic Astrologic Crystal Band uh, featuring Steve Hoffman. Uh, I don't recall ever having seen this particular record before. Uh, obviously, a late 60s psych record. Um, I haven't heard this one, uh, but I'm looking forward to digging into it. Uh, that kind of thing does not come around very often. It's always nice to have more of that kind of stuff. This Harold Grosskopf record, however, I am very familiar with. This is a German record on the Sky uh, record label, and Harold Grosskopf was a major player in the Krautrock scene in Germany in the 70s primarily and um, this album is one of maybe two Harold Grosskopf solo albums if I'm not mistaken and this is a minimal synth banger if you like cold wave and minimal synth and by that I mean basically really stripped down synthesizer heavy um, yeah, electronic music, then you're gonna wanna check this out. Harold Grosskopf Synthesis, uh, The Moon Without Earth, yet another major label psych record here. Uh, I haven't had enough time to listen to a bunch of the records in this collection, and I've never listened to this one before. Uh, not that I can recall, but it looks interesting. However, I have spent a lot of time with this album the West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. This is their second of three albums. All three of them are fantastic. This is just amazing psychedelic rock from the late 60s, and I highly recommend checking that out. Um, up next, Bo Diddley is a gunslinger. This looks to be an OG pressing on, US pressing on Checker. Good uh, condition Bo Diddley records are hard to come by and this is a very very clean original and um yeah i mean i don't need to say anything more than bo knows do i uh bo diddley one of the og uh rock uh musicians um you know i really don't think i can add anything more to the pantheon about bo diddley but he's a legend uh, of course so uh this particular collection had a ton of Kinks records in it. The guy we bought, uh, uh, the the owner of the collection um, was a massive Kinks fan and he had pretty much everything you could possibly hope for, including this extremely rare um, promo only, um, the Kinks then, now, and in between compilation. This is like a radio promo compilation. It originally came in a box with a bunch of extra goodies, of which we may have one. And um, the LP uh, contained within is what you see here. Um, 
as you can see, there's a ton of uh, info. It's a lot of snippets. Uh, it, there's a medley that starts off side A, and then it's just clips um, from uh, various tracks uh, off of albums dating from 65 to 69. And anyway, it's a, a cool Kinks artifact and was promo only, never available for sale in, the sh in stores. Uh, hard Rock fans, gotta know Budgie. Budgie is uh, one of the greatest uh, hard rock bands of all time. Power Trio, uh, this one is one of my favorites of theirs. I believe it's from 72 or something like that. And uh, Squawk, you very rarely see these records uh, for sale in stores. The copies that we get sell quickly uh, because the quality of the music here is fantastic. Somewhere between early Rush and Led Zeppelin is uh, how I would describe Budgie. Um, just a really, really incredible uh, hard rock band from the... Well, they did a ton of records, but starting in the early 70s. It's also some rare modern stuff. You know, most Sting records are not notable, but Sting records from 1996, like this one, uh, are notable and kind of pricey. This one is... Uh, worth showing the graham gouldman thing uh, i don't know much about this one to be honest i've never listened to it uh it's on rca uh looks to be a promo it's got the embossed promo stamp on the back there and that will be going out for sale in the shop very soon all right and then we got some classics this particular copy of dark side of the moon includes both posters and two of the stickers and um, yeah, it's just a super, super clean OG US pressing. Soul fans, get down with Alan Toussaint. He is one of the greatest. Um, and this particular album, uh, Southern Nights, he does an amazing rendition of the Glenn Campbell song, Southern Nights. Um, yeah, anyway, it, New Orleans funk, uh, soul stuff. It's a fantastic album. And uh, that's an, a US OG. Uh, an original pressing and speaking of original pressings this is an, a, a u.s original pressing 1969 monarch pressing according to our little post-it note there of the first flying burrito brothers album and the best flying burrito brothers album this is the gilded palace of sin uh featuring graham parsons uh sneaky pete chris hillman chris etheridge uh just one of the best country rock albums of all time, in my opinion. Here's some odd European thing. Uh, Oliver in the Underworld uh, by Freddie and the Dreamers. Freddie and the Dreamers is more of like a Mercy Beat kind of pop group, uh, I believe from the UK. Um, and this looks to be a foreign pressing of that particular album. I'm not super familiar with that one, to be honest, but uh, I'm sure it's a good time. Uh, classic American Beauty here with the Grateful Dead uh, Warner Brothers hype sticker on the front. This one's still in shrink. Part of the reason that it's worth showing off. Getting copies of this record in general these days is not easy. Getting super clean ones, especially in the original shrink wrap with the hype sticker attached. Very difficult. Um, Pink Floyd, High Hopes and Keep Talking. This is a limited edition 12 inch uh, in like a special envelope uh, sleeve, just a, a rare Pink Floyd um, item there. Here's a fun private pressing. This is a trio called The Trio um, of high school guys doing, I think, all covers on this thing. Um, they do Our House, they do Happy Together, um, Picture Yourself, California Dreaming, Ticket to Ride, a lot of Beatles covers, but then they uh, end the album with Space Oddity by Bowie on here. Um, yeah, it's not hard and heavy, but it's an interesting, uh, Villa Park High School private pressing. The title of the record is A Splendid Time is Guaranteed for All. And, uh, yeah, look at those dudes. Look like good time, right? I mean, that, that shirt is sick, right? Anyway, the trio, check it out. Um, we got some unofficial, uh, Led Zeppelin Houses of the Holy on colored vinyl. I'm not sure exactly what this is, if it's the studio album or if it's something else, but uh, unofficial with different artwork, obviously, than what you're used to seeing. 
the Poppy Family. This is some fantastic um, psychedelic pop stuff featuring Susan Jacks. Um, she and her husband, Terry Jacks, um, work together in the Poppy Family. And uh, you may have heard Which Way You Going, Billy, off of this album. Um, but there's also, oh yeah, Shadows on My Wall is a really dark psych uh pop psych uh track um i highly recommend checking that out and this whole album is actually really really good for the genre if that's your cup of tea looks like we got an og classic here this looks to be uk pressing of it is yes a 1968 uk pressing of the rolling stones beggar's banquet and then we got another awesome soul record if you're not familiar with Brenton Wood, I highly recommend checking him out as soon as possible. This album is called Oogum Boogum and has the track Oogum Boogum on it. Also has um, his cover of Psychotic Reaction by the Count Five, which is really sick. Uh, Count Five and Brenton Wood were both on the Double Shot record label. And um, yeah, his stuff is just real low key, kind of laid back, groovy, uh, fun, danceable soul. I highly recommend everything Brenton Wood. Uh, we got some more Rolling Stones here. This is Stripped. This is a later album of theirs. I believe this came out in the 90s. 1995 is what it looks like. Uh, and that's the original 1995 pressing of that bad boy. Uh, here's some Wild Prague stuff. This looks to be a, uh, a German pressing. No, no, no. I'm sorry. A UK pressing of... Um, the If I Could Do It All Over Again, I'd Do It All Over You album on Decca Records. And next, we got Fanny. Fanny is an all-female hard rock group from the early 70s. Uh, this is their debut album, Fanny Rocks. You have to check out Fanny if you're not already familiar. You know, the, in the pantheon of all-female rock groups everyone always talks about the runaways and you know there are so many unsung heroes of all female rock groups not enough i don't think but there are more than you would think and fanny was one of the earliest uh hard rock bands uh, uh that was all female and uh there is an amazing uh documentary on fanny that i highly re recommend checking out also, along these same, same lines, I recommend the band Bertha, who are uh, very similar. And maybe the first Bertha album I like even more than this first Fanny album. So check out Fanny. They had a, a multi-album career, um, but their earliest material is my favorites. My favorite. <laughs> All right, Cream. This is a, um, a analog 180-gram uh, virgin vinyl audio file pressing of Fresh Cream, uh, one of the greatest power trios of all time. You got Ginger Baker, Jack Bruce, and Eric Clapton, uh, of course, uh, comprising Cream, Ginger Baker, one of my all-time favorite rock drummers, so heavy and so wild, and Cream does not get uh, enough love, in my humble opinion. Here's a garage rock classic. This is the New Colony 6 Breakthrough album. And this is an original pressing on the Centaur album. Most of the rest of their LPs are uh, fairly common. This one is the one to get. And we got Ann Peebles. Wow, when it was raining cats and dogs here recently in Los Angeles, uh, this song, the title track, I Can't Stand the Rain, was uh, just going on. Uh, playing on repeat inside my mind uh, Ann Peebles one of the all-time greatest uh, soul singers and uh, her song I Can't Stand the Rain probably familiar to most of you because of the Missy uh, Misdemeanor Elliot uh, remake of it this is another garage psych classic this is Hey Joe by the Leaves still in the original shrink wrap this is a stereo pressing from the Late 60s, I believe this is a 67 or 68 album. Anyway, it's, you know, it, it's got the look. And if this look is appealing to you, this album will knock your socks off. Speaking of socks getting knocked off, this is the Zombies uh, debut LP. The self-titled one with She's Not There and Tell Her No on it. Uh, this looks to be an original U.S. pressing in the shrink wrap. 
stereo, super clean. Um, yeah, I, I love the zombies. Uh, Colin Blundstone is such an amazing vocalist and Rod Argent, um, an amazing keyboard player as well. Uh, you've certainly heard zombie songs, whether you knew it was the zombies or not. Um, and they deserve more of your attention because they were one of the greatest groups of their time, uh, right up there with the Kinks and the Beatles, in my opinion. All right, speaking of which, here's the Beatles file under the Beatles. Um, I don't know what this particular LP is comprised of, but it does look to be a whole lot of early material, and it comes in this cool filing folder uh, jacket with a uh, pasted-on photo of the boys. Uh, the Fab Four themselves up in the corner there. All right, the Northern Soul story. This is a compilation of rare soul, specifically Northern Soul. Um, as you know, some of the rarest 45s in the world are Northern Soul 45s, and they are rare and expensive because they are, a lot of them are just fantastic records that are really, really great to dance to. Um, yeah, and if you need a primer on the genre, this is a great place to start. This is a double LP uh, UK pressing. And then back to the zombies. So y'all are probably familiar with the album Odyssey and Oracle by the zombies. Well, this is that album in a uh, different uh, jacket than you're probably used to seeing. Still in the original shrink wrap. I don't know when this particular copy was pressed, but probably fairly early on the date uh, um, label. And uh, yeah, this is just one of the best like Baroque psychedelic pop records you could ever possibly hope for if you like the Beach Boys pet sounds and you're not familiar with Odyssey and Oracle by the Zombies. That one is highly recommended. Man, my hair is out of control today. It just won't stay out of my face. Anyway, uh, here's a cool jazz record by Hal Galper, uh, Wild Bird. This is, I thought it was on the mainstream label. Yeah, it is. Just doesn't say mainstream on the front yet. Um, yeah, just killer jazz keys and looks like he's playing a Fender Rhodes there, something similar. And uh, yeah, just cool jazz that we just don't see uh, very often. Speaking of killer jazz, here's a a very, very great one on the CTI label. This is Red Clay by Freddie Hubbard, um, featuring Joe Henderson, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, and Lenny White. That's an all-star lineup. Um, you know that's a banger. Red Clay. As I said, this particular collection we got recently had so many Kinks records in it and so many super, super clean originals. This is a U.S. pressing of uh, an original U.S. pressing of something else by the Kinks. Um, uh, in my opinion, like, pre-19, at least 75, you cannot go wrong uh, with anything Kinks-related. Uh, after that, gets a little dodgy, but there's still some, uh, some diamonds in the rough there. Circus Maximus, this is a 60s psych record. I've heard this before. Um, I don't recall how good it is, but one notorious thing about this is that Jerry Jeff Walker is in the band. I believe that's him up there, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, uh, country musician, Jerry Jeff Walker, songwriter, extraordinaire, got his start in Circus Maximus in the mid to late 60s. Uh, this is a Spencer Davis group. This is a late era a Spencer Davis group album. This must be from the late 60s, I would imagine, maybe 1969. It's called Funky. I know uh, a fair amount of Spencer Davis material, but I've never heard this album, and I'm and very excited to check it out. It looks like my bag. Uh, here is an OG, Small Faces, uh, Ogden's Nut Gone uh, Flake, and this is in the die-cut um, circular jacket. Really uh, kind of annoying to deal with, to be honest. Uh, that's one of my pet peeves as a record store owner, is oddly shaped packaging that we have to do extra stuff, like throw a cardboard backer in. Uh, but, you know, worth it, especially for this kind of, this album in particular. This is an incredible psych record. Um, yeah, this is not like what you've probably heard by the faces of the small faces. Uh, mostly, this is an, a, a psychedelic master opus. I highly recommend checking that one out. 
Um, it's a moody one. It's a grower, but it will grow on you. Uh, if you like Davy Allen, the arrows, this is like, um, kind of surfy. He's mostly known for his surf music, but this is more of like a, a motorcycle movie soundtrack kind of vibe. It's real fuzzed out and, and kind of heavy almost at times. Uh, the title is the psychedelic sounds of Davy Allen and the arrows It came out on the tower records label, uh, that did a bunch of amazing psych, including a lot of the early, uh, Pink Floyd albums. Uh, here are, is another psych record garage psych. That is, this is the human beings. Uh, we see human beings records every now and again, but this one does not come up or come to us very often. This is called evolutions. Uh, probably from 67, 68, something like that. I don't know the date off the top of my head. These are, this video is me going through a creative records that I literally did not uh, peruse before I started this video. So uh, it's fun for all of us. Uh, this is Antonio Carlos Jobim, Stoneflower. So a really great bossa nova uh, jazz album. This is, uh, he's a Brazilian musician, jazz musician specifically um did a lot of records back in the day um worked closely with astrid gilberto and is a heavy heavy player in uh that world the the brazilian jazz scene um this is on cti original u.s pressing on cti and that record slaps all right and then we got speaking of surf we got uh the shadows this is surfing with the shadows uh, surf rock. It is what it is. You know, you got guys like Dick Dale and Davey Allen and, and a ton of other bands that were doing that sort of thing. It's really, really great. Primarily instrumental music that, um, yeah, is just really fun to listen to and, and, uh, pairs really great with surf movies like, um, Endless Summer. If you've never seen that film, I highly recommend checking it out. It is fantastic. And... The Kinks, again, live. This looks to be an original UK pressing. Yes, it's got the, the flip back uh, album jacket here. And um, that's an early UK pressing, if not first. And last but not least, of course, we got a bunch of kraut rock in the mix right now. This is a mid-era can album. Uh, landed so good. Um, yeah, if you like kraut rock, you have to own this record. It's a... Uh, it's, Pretty much every can record is a must own, in my opinion. Um, this is post Damu Suzuki, um, and it's just the core group of Jackie Liebitzite, Holger Zuke, Michael Caroli, and Ermin Schmidt on this one. And it comes highly recommended by yours truly. And last but not least, this past Wednesday, Valentine's Day, February 14th, Record Store Day announced this year's exclusive releases for Record Store Day. And one of them is this Band X record. Uh, Band X was a group of uh, young college-aged musicians, including uh, one Craig Payton here, who went on to have an illustrious solo career. Uh, well, he played the vibraphone and fancied himself the Jimi Hendrix of the vibes. The band, Band X, not Brand X, Band X, released this album. This is their only LP from back in the day. Uh, they self-released it and titled it The Best of Band X. Um, as it says here on the hype sticker, this fits in somewhere between contemporaries like Weather Report, Headhunters, and Shuggy Otis, and this 1976 private pressing slaps. Check this out. You can stream some of the tracks online now. Um, I'm sure the full length will be streaming soon if it isn't already. And anyway, Band X, the best of. I found a copy of this original album in Austin, Texas about a year or so ago. I tracked down Craig Payton and got the rights to reissue this album uh, with Writing Easy Records. And it's our one of our Record Store Day 2024 exclusives there i believe are a thousand copies of this album it will sell out on record store day so ask specifically at your local record store this is the first time it's ever been repressed on vinyl um there is a cd version of it from some years back but that's it 
thank you again for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you will like this video and subscribe down below to see all of our future content. We'll be back again soon with another video. Until then, take care y'all.